I'm sorry, Anchor. <laughs> Today we have the Anchorwork B600, what is it, video bar. It's basically just a webcam, but a pretty fancy webcam. They call it like a studio all-in-one kind of thing. This is video is sponsored by Anchorwork, and I agree to do this on one condition. I get to take it apart at the end, so <laughs> let's give her. We have three of them, and one of them's not surviving the day. Oh, fancy, look at this. Download the software, I already did. So it looks like that you get a variety of different chargers. They didn't feel like localizing it for different regions. So you get a bunch of different options. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Whoa, that's oh cool. wow, yeah, this thing's big. Look at this. It has this kind of like, I don't know what you call this, fabric? It reminds me of, um oh, what was that really stupid PC that HP made ages ago? They made an all-in-one that was like a trash can Mac, but covered in fabric. Yeah, Pavilion Wave. Yeah, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> this has like a really satisfying heft to it though. Feels decent, there might be some aluminum in here. No, it feels like plastic. How much does it cost? 220 US. So the basic operation is you have a light bar that flips up like that. So it not only functions as a light bar, but also a privacy filter. So you don't have to worry about, you know, people looking at you through your webcam when it's off. So in here you get a 2K sensor. So that's 1440p, 16 by nine, that's way higher resolution than your laptop camera probably is. Chances are it's like a 720p jobby, maybe 1080p if you're lucky. What do you think the bit rates are, Brandon, and like Skype? You're not getting, yeah, you're not getting 4K through that, but <laughs> the better the image that you put in, the better an image you are going to get out, kind of no matter what. You also have four microphones in this. I don't quite know what the layout is, but I'm guessing two of them are to pick up your voice and two of them are for noise canceling. Did you say there's speakers in this, Jono? Yep. Wow, I wonder if those are any good. First, let's do a little baseline reading here. So here's our test. This is the XPS 15 webcam. And uh, if it can't beat this, the video is not going up because this laptop has a terrible webcam. It comes with this little like monitor clamp chummy, but also in the bottom it has a quarter 20 thread so you can put it on a tripod or something like that. This is gonna be really big for my laptop. I feel like this is supposed to be used on like a desktop. Oh geez. That's, that's pretty good. What a unit. That is beautiful. I wonder if this will unlock Windows Hello. Oh, I do wonder if it has Windows Hello. I didn't see it mentioned, so I'm guessing not. I also don't know if I can test that either way because this laptop has Windows Hello, and I think we'll get mad at each other. One unfortunate thing is that you have to have two USBs going into this. I'm guessing because this light probably draws a little bit of current. And the other one for data. I do appreciate that they included Type-C for this, but I do kind of wish that they had a Type-C to A adapter. Yeah, Riley, take a look at this webcam. Huh? Is it 4K? <laughs> No, it's 1440p. Is it 8K? It's definitely not 8K. You're, you're asking the wrong questions here, Riley. Why is it so big then? <laughs> it has a light bar. Oh yeah. Jeez. Whoa. No one wants an 8K webcam, Riley. Go away. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it seems like that the Anchor software and OBS don't like each other very much. So set up your settings in here, close it, and then start streaming if that's what you plan on using this for. Wow, that's a lot better than the XPS webcam. Like. It damn well better be, like it's a $200 webcam as opposed to one of the worst laptop cameras, but it's, it is way better. Now, first of all, let's just, let's test out this light. Okay, that's not, that's not doing a whole lot. Can we turn off the lights? Yeah, so one tap on the side, turns it on and off, and there's a little slider in the center that can change the brightness for you. So it looks like I can change the color temperature Let's try blue. That's very blue, looks kind of odd. I personally like it right around there. It's a little bit on the warmer side, but not too bad. Let's see what brightness does. Yeah, that's a, that's a brightness slider for sure. Now sharpness. Oh geez, that's a uh, pretty scary. That's, let's just turn that down. Saturation, looks like I got a bad spray tan now, if that's what you're into. Um, and going the other way, I look like I'm dead. Cool. And finally, the contrast ratio. It's going here, uh, yep. So I guess what we've learned is don't touch these sliders because the auto settings are pretty good. Let's see here, we have a couple different field of views. So 65 is kind of zoomed in. 78 is standard and looks fine to me. And finally we have self frame. How good is it? 
Let's find out. Come over here. Oh. Hello. Can you zoom in anymore? Let's see. Maybe if we move over here. Aha. It is tracking me. Hey, Jono, do you want to do a real world test? Yeah. How do I sound? You're looking all sharp. Yeah, you look all sharp. I can see like almost like every strand of your hair. <laughs> And like behind you, the foam, I can see all the foam bits. Yeah, your forehead looks super blown out. So uh, yeah. you need to get one of these. Come, come grab the other one. Do you sound the same like anywhere in that room? I don't know, find out. So I'm going to speak and then I'm going to walk around the room. So I'm going to talk and keep on talking and walk around here and continue talking and let me know if that sounded just totally fine as I did that. The anchor webcam would just kind of like start boosting the audio, so I can definitely hear that. Okay, now let's try it with the one that's built into this computer. Do you, does that sound different? Yeah, I can definitely hear some sort of, uh, I think the fan's going. Yeah, the, the capture laptop's really giving her. Can you hear me fine from over here? Yeah, I can definitely tell that you're far away. Wicked, and I do have noise suppression just totally off in Teams. So this is all webcam and not Teams doing it. Sorry, I'm getting distracted, Jono, but I want to do a little crab rave for a second. Yeah, this is better than a lot of laptops. Let's switch to the XPS speakers. This is the sort of thing where like, it's obviously not as loud or generally as good as the XPS 15 speakers, but they didn't do what a lot of small speakers do and make it sound terrible. They could have easily made this twice as loud probably by overdriving the speakers and having it just be a distorted mess. But instead it's like pretty clean. I'm guessing for conference calls, it'll be more than adequate. All right, second unboxing. I'm sorry, Mr. Webcam for what's about to happen to you, but uh, I want to have some fun. First thing, it appears that you can take this base off. We'll start with that. I have a bad feeling we're going to have to do a little bit of cutting here soon. There's a way to get in through here. That would be amazing. There isn't. Oh, it's another quarter 20 on the bottom though. That's nice to see. I'm sorry, Anchor. <laughs> this is never going back together the same way. Okay. So the back has a couple plastic clips and a lot of tape. Oh, it's actually kind of like foamy tape as well. So it probably helps a bit with uh, the sound of it. Does this, oh, just comes apart right like that. Oh, there's our speakers. Look at these. So they're packaged on either end, firing outwards, I guess, which is kind of strange, but at the same time, like where else are you going to put them here? Got a little metal shield here. That's probably just for EMI compliance crap. So just making sure that this doesn't, you know, put out random electromagnetic radiation crap and doesn't accept it either. Oh, this also acts as a little heat spreader. So we're cooling these two chips right here. And this right here has a little bit of foam on top, probably just to keep this clip in. Oh, this one right here is a USB interface chip. That makes sense. There's probably just do power management crap. We didn't need to cut the mesh. That was just unfortunate. Before you say it in the comments, I am not water cooling a webcam. So right here we have the Rock Chip RV1126. Apparently it's a quad core that has 2.0 tops. I don't know what tops are, but... Oh, this is a RISC-V processor, that's sick. We did a video with them a while ago and they're integrating their chips into a bunch of different, you know, stuff like this, where you don't necessarily need all the overhead of ARM or x86 chips and you just want to, you know, get an image off of it. It looks like this Exmos chip right here is what is doing all of the AI processing, but it is super cool that they're doing the AI processing on chip instead of in their software. So it'll just work when you plug it in instead of having to install Anchor software for it to work, which makes sense. Do -do -do. There's the speakers. Now on to the star of the show though. Let's take a look at this sensor. Here's the camera module. Crack it open. I want to see how big the sensor is. We got to go all the way. Yeah, so I just broke the lens off. It seems like that they attached it just using a couple bits of solder, which makes sense. It looks like at the back here, we have the IR filter. Every digital camera is an infrared camera. You just need to filter that out. Otherwise, everyone looks super weird. It, it seems like this is a voice coil. You probably can't really tell, but the autofocus 
is done by moving this in and out ever so slightly. And I'm guessing it's done in a similar way to how a speaker works. And finally, we have the sensor. Yeah, there it is. It's so little. This powers the light and the rest of this looks like it just goes towards the touch controls on the sides and the front. So there you go. Check out the Anchorwork B600 at the link down below. Uh, it looks like this or like this on the inside. Huge thanks for letting us take it apart, guys. If you have another video that you want to watch, go watch the walk car. That was fun. <laughs> fun to work for it.